talk and learn. Just look at this. This is the story of my life and the life cycle of all butterflies. See? This is a picture of me as a wee little egg. Uh, how can you tell which one is yours? Why, it's the prettiest one, of course. And this is me as a newly hatched caterpillar. Aren't I cute? That's just marvelous! <laughs> huh? I mean, marvelous! He is making a play on words, Kevin. Larva is the second stage of development in the life cycle of a butterfly. That's when we're in a caterpillar form. During the larval stage, we eat. A lot! Then, when our skin gets too tight, we molt or shed our outer skin and repeat the process until we've become nice and plump. Oh, yes! See how big she is in this picture? That's what she looked like just before she became a pupa. A pupil? <laughs> you mean a student? No, silly. He said pupa. That's the third stage, where caterpillars are enclosed in a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, we complete our metamorphosis. That means she transformed from an awkward caterpillar... Hey! ...into a beautiful butterfly! Well, I guess I do like the way I turned out. The pupa stage is where I got my exoskeleton and my wings. Exo-what? Exoskeleton. It means having a skeleton outside. So let me get this straight. As a butterfly, you start as an egg. Next, you hatch into a larva and you eat, grow, and molt. Eat, grow, and molt. Several times. Then you become a pupa. That's where you rest and complete your transformation. And finally, you emerge from the chrysalis as an adult butterfly. Then you lay eggs, and the whole process starts over again. And that's actually the life cycle of many types of insects. Butterflies, moths, beetles, ants, flies, bees, and wasps, just to name a few. Not all insects go through all four stages of the life cycle, but all insects belong to a large group of similar animals called arthropods. That is one big group, too! Over 80% of all known animal species are arthropods. Wow! 